Captain Joe DiOrio here of Joe DiOrio Guide Service. I'm gonna be talking today about stripers and some of the baits that I use and some of the beer that I use for them. Favorite plugs, the skipper, Joe Bag skipper, and the dock. Uh, these are two phenomenal plugs that I use uh, all throughout the season. Uh, whether I'm fishing two feet of water, 10 feet, 15, 30, even th up to 30, 40 feet of water. Great baits, they go side to side motions. Uh, hard plastic so they don't bait, uh, they won't break, they won't not float on you after a while like some of the wood plugs. Um, one of the things I am doing with these plugs is I am upgrading the hooks. And so I use a size 8 BKK split ring and I use a size 30 Viper 41 uh, hook or I'm using a, uh, one of the other hooks that I use the Raptor Z's, the BKK Raptor Z's and I use those in a size 2 uh, Typically when I am throwing top water plugs I'm using anywhere between 50 to 60 pound test uh, fluorocarbon. The reason why I'm using that heavy uh, heavy leader is two reasons not because the fish are so bad but the biggest reason why is because when you do hit a fish hit a hook uh, catch a fish sometimes the plug will flip on you and it'll get that line caught in it so you really want a strong leader to protect against chafing uh, the other reason why is it honestly i think the bigger a little bit bigger gauge makes the makes these baits work at a really better uh, at a better pace when you have really really light line sometimes it's too flimsy and you can't get that good motion uh, so 50 50 pound test 40 50 maybe even 60 sometimes the leader that's what i've been using uh Daiwa j braid fluoro that's basically what i've been using these past few years um this is the dock like i said same thing um just a little bit different these have been my two major plugs for the past couple of years uh this one just came out i think this bait caught us four or five 50 pounders, me personally three. Um, these baits have been around forever. Uh, got them up to 58, 60 pounds on, on these plugs. The biggest difference between these two plugs right here is this one is more of a glide. It goes across the top and it stays up on top of the surface, okay? This one's a little bit different. You're able to fish it a couple different ways. You're able to fish it more like a pencil popper and make short, choppy, strides with a quick you know twitch of the rod and really really light reeling or you can make this thing glide kind of like this would but it does have a different movement it actually dives under the water a little bit and it dives under the water and what that does is it attracts the bait a little bit more they both have really great sound this one's a little bit deep a little bit more of a pitch but they both i've, I've found they both work great in really really dirty water Connecticut River, just outside the Long Island Sound. And these are two baits that I always have in my bag. Moving on to soft plastics. There's a couple different ways and a couple different baits that I like for soft plastics. I like Joe Bag's eels. Uh, personally, these, this is a Joe Bag's eel. I think you can fish them two ways. You can fish them on a jig head, kind of like this one, or you could fish them weightless, okay? So just because it's easy, this is the Joe Bag Zeal, it's 14 inches long, I think 14.5 inches long. Uh, this is a BKK uh, Titan Rider. Uh, I believe this is a size 80 hook, and that's, that's the size I like on there. Um, you're able to fish this bait just under the surface. You can fish it a couple different ways. Twitch, 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 pause. And you'll give it like a two second pause and go back to twitching it. Or you can just continuously twitch and reel at the same time. Um, and make this thing either dance on top of the water or dance just below the water. Um, weightless, really, really effective, especially when you're fishing two to seven feet of water, okay? And you could fish that on the flats, you could fish that in structure around the rocks, you could fish it a lot around a, a lot of different areas. Now, when you're fishing, when you're fishing a little bit deeper area, uh, I like to use the jig head, okay? Now, some of these, like I said, you could use either the eel or the paddle tail when you are fishing on a jig head. Uh, the way I like to set these up is I go right through the head, just like that. Try to find the middle area, right in the middle, push it out the top, and that will give you 
kind of a straight line like that. And then one thing to make these baits last a little bit longer that I do is I add a couple zip ties. Okay, so one zip tie right at the head and I'll take that and cut it off right like that. And that will keep that jig head from sliding down. And then I'll take another one of these zip ties and I put it right at the tail, okay? And you will save a lot of bait. These baits will last a lot longer by doing this. So like I said, you got one zip tie at the bottom, one zip tie at the top, and that will make that bait a lot more durable and you will get a lot more use and it'll catch a lot more fish on it. And you could do this with the bigger paddle tails, the smaller paddle tails, whatever it may be. Anytime you're using a jig head, I try to get these zip ties on there and it'll make your bait last from two or three fish to 10 or 15 or 20, something like that. Now, when I'm fishing a jig head, like I said, I'm fishing anywhere between five to 50 feet of water, 60 feet of water sometimes. Uh, depending on how fast the current's moving, what point in the tide I am, is depending on what type of weight. Uh, sometimes I'll use a quarter ounce, sometimes I'll use up to two or three ounces, depending on how fast we're moving. Um, when I'm fishing a jig head, the other thing I'm keeping an eye on is seeing where these fish are on my screen. So I'll take my Ray Marine Electronics and we'll cast out. If I'm noticing the fish are right on the bottom, I'm waiting for this bait to hit the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, I'm bouncing it up and down. And how I kind of like to do it is cast out, hit bottom, two, heart, two nice little pops, get that rod moving, and five cranks. Two pops, five cranks. And when that fish hits, set the hook. When you know, these aren't circle hooks, you do have to set the hook on these and you have to set them pretty hard. Stripers have a very, very hard mouth. Um, so you want to set the hook multiple times. I say the first times to get it in there, second times to really get it in there, the third times for fun. Um, that's kind of how we do it. I, to catching really, really big stripers, I don't really like throwing small baits. This is the seven inch, this is the 14 inch. These are the two type of, type of baits that I like. Um, with the paddle tails, the one thing I really like the paddle tails for is when the current is really, really ripping. You could fish the paddle tail without, when you're fishing on the boat and the tide's moving a couple miles an hour, you don't even have to reel. You can keep that bait in the same area and you're getting that nice action on the back tail. Um, with the eels, I like to fish the eels definitely in a little bit smaller current, or lighter current. Um, but the eels work well, not only at block, but they work in local, Connecticut, backside of fishers, pretty much everywhere. I've had really good success with all these lures. Um, the last way uh, that I target stri uh, stripers is live bait. Okay, there's a couple different ways that we uh, like to use the live bait. Uh, the first way, and probably the easiest way, is with a circle hook, just completely weightless. And what I'll do is I have these clips. Uh, they're bridles. It's called the ultimate bridle. And you hook it right through like that, and then unclip it, and you can put this section right into the nose of the fish, clip it up, and now you have your hook on your fish like that. And it's, the hook is completely exposed. There's nothing there from stopping, and you're gonna find out you're gonna have a lot better hookup ratio by using one of these bridles. I use this as also, also when I'm three-weighing, um, the, the bridles as well. Uh, but to go back to show you guys how I'm doing the, light, um, the free line, I have my braid, I have a double uni, I have my 40, 50 pound test leader to a BKK inline heavy circle um, to your clip. And that's how I have that set up. Okay. Now, as far as the other way I fish my bunker, um, I did a couple... Uh, and you can do the same thing with eels. And I, I should mention, you could fish the same way with eels. You could put your, instead of the eel, you take this piece off and you hook the eel right on the top of there, okay? Or right on your hook and you fish it the same way. You could fish it weightless. The other way you could fish it is on a three-way. I actually did a TV show six years ago with On The Water. We did three-weighing eels out of block and this is the rig that we used, okay? So it's a simple three-way rigs. To a loop or not, to a loop knot, we, you can put your sinker on. I'm using one of these World Record Striper Company rattle sinkers. They have a little rattle inside of them. Hooked on to your leader. Your leader, it depends on whether you're fishing bunker or where you're fishing eels. If you're fishing eels, I like a lot, of, a lot longer leader. When I'm fishing bunker, I'm fishing a shorter leader. And the reason why I'm fishing a shorter e a leader versus a long leader is bunker swim up. 
eels swim down. So you're able to, when you're fishing bunker, I put the sinker right on the bottom and the bunker's two feet off the bottom. Okay, sinker's right on the bottom, the bunker's up like that. With the eel, the eel's trying to get down to the bottom and I have my sinker up like that. This is a very, very, very effective way to fish the bottom and to really, really target a, a specific area on the, uh, on the bottom. Usually I like to have my baits anywhere from six inches to four feet off the bottom because that's where these stripers like to sit, right in those rocks, get right behind those rocks, use those current breaks from those rocks to then attack those fish. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the rods that I use today. We're gonna go right into the spinning rod here. Uh, this is a Lamaglass Triflex 7325S. It's seven foot three long. It does have the, a nice grip on there, Kevlar. Um, I like it. The, doesn't move very much, you know, your hand, it doesn't get very slippery. Um, so it's one of the really, really great things about this rod here. Um, reason why I like this rod, I call it the ultimate rod for everything. I use this rod for fishing the soft plastics on a jig head, soft plastics weightless, and either the skipper or the dock. These are the type of lure, these are the types of lures I'm fishing on this rod. Uh, the reason why I like it, it has a solid, really, really strong backbone. So obviously you need a strong backbone for these fish to set the hook on them. Uh, but you want a moderate to light tip. And the reason why I say that is because you don't, if you don't, if it's too stiff and you're twitching that rod, it's going to pull the bait completely out of the water. So this Lamaglass Triflex 7325S, I've found over the past 10 years of using them, they have really been the ultimate rod for catching these big fish. We've caught fish up to 70 pounds on this rod, 72 pounds. Uh, it's been a phenomenal, phenomenal rod for us. Um, so if you guys haven't had a chance to go check one of these out, definitely go check it out. I have it paired with a Daiwa BG. Uh, this is a 4,000 size reel. I have it paired with Daiwa J Braid. Um, this is 30 pound J Braid. And I'm using anywhere from a liter on, on the soft plastic liters, I'm using about 20 pound test for the stick baits, uh, you know, like the dock, I'm using 50 to 60 pound test. Um, so that's what I'm using for, and I always have a tactical angler clip, I gotta mention that. And if you notice one thing about also my, all my setups, I have no, no connections, no swivels or anything like that. Swivels will add weight in the water. They'll also, um, it's more drag through the water, and it's also, it makes the line heavier in certain sections. So that's the reason why I don't use any hardware or anything like that. As far as conventional gear, I'm using also still, I'm still using the Lamb Glass Triflex. This is a 7650C, all right, and I have it matched with the Daiwa Saltis 30H. Um, I have it lined usually with 30 pound tests. The reason why I like 30 pound tests and not really anything higher than that is because the thinner the diameter of the line, the easier it is to cut through the water. So your bait will get down to the water, down to the bottom fish uh, quicker, and there will be a lot less drag cutting through the water. Um, this is a great rod for three weighing and for live lining. Okay, so as you notice, it's got a really, really thick butt end. It's got the, it's got the Kevlar handle grips, um, so your, your hands aren't slipping on it. It's got the good butt end on it, so this way, if when you are fishing those bunker, it's able to penetrate, it's able to pull the bunker out of, the, out of the, the bridle clip that you're using. It's able to pull it out and it's also able to set the hook on there. Now, when we're using these, when we're using these types of rigs, we're using circle hooks because that's what the laws require us to use. So you're going to really need a really, really heavy backbone, heavier midsection, and a sensitive tip to enough to feel those subtle hits that you're having. Okay. This is, the, like I said, the Lamb Glass Triflex. Six, a 7650C, you can go get these at the store. Um, outstanding rod, a really, really great setup that's not gonna break the bank. So yeah, these are the rods that I use. These are the rods that I use for all my stripers that we're catching, whether big, small, or different, whatever it may be. You're never gonna be in a bad place with these rods. Um, definitely go out and check them out if you hadn't had a chance um, to check out my website as well. Check us out, joediorioguideservice.com. I appreciate everything. Have a great, great new season. Cheers.